put a crown of thorns uh, on Jesus. Jesus shed his blood when they put a crown of thorns on his head. Now you need to know every place in Christ's body where he shed his blood. Let me go over it quickly. He shed his blood when he prayed, let thy will be done. His sweat became like drops of blood before he went to the cross to save your soul, to redeem your will. Number two, his back was whipped like a plowed up field and he took all the sickness and disease, 39 stripes. They made furrows in his back that you can get healed because he got sick with your sickness. Then he was bruised for your iniquities. Jesus Christ also shed his blood on his head. They put a crown of thorns, a crown of thorns. And Matthew 27, 29, and when they had plaited a crown of thorns, they put it upon his head and a reed in his right hand and they bowed the knee before him and mocked him saying, Hail, King of the Jews. Now, dominion. Say dominion. dominion. Say it again, dominion. dominion. Third time, dominion. dominion. Yes, dominion was God's mandate given to man, but he lost it and gave it to Adam. In Genesis 1, 26 to 28, and God said, let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the fowl of the air and over the cattle and over all the earth and over every creeping thing that creepeth upon the earth. So God created man in his own image and the image of God created him, male and female created he them. Now, and God blessed them. And then God said unto them, that's why I speak words over you. I speak words of blessing unto you because that's how God does it. He blessed them and he said unto them, the blessing is released by words and the curse is also released by words. I speak over your life today that God has broken the curse of every negative word that ever has been spoken against you. It will not come to pass. It's canceled out by the blood of Jesus and only good words of blessing will materialize in your life. God's words in Jesus name, amen. So God blessed them and he said unto them, number one, be fruitful. Say I'm fruitful. You are fruitful. I'm speaking to your life. He says, multiply. Say, I'm multiplying. Say, everything about my life is multiplication. In Jesus' name, hallelujah. And then he's the third thing he says, not only must you multiply, but you must replenish the earth. It means you fill it up. How many of you use something and you got depleted? I'm speaking into your life. Everything that you got depleted from is getting filled up. Some of you lost inheritances that were given to you. You use them up carelessly. I'm speaking replenish in that name. Everything you lost, let it be given back to you. Pressed down, shaken together and running over. Replenish. Third thing, you are replenishing the earth in the name of Jesus. Number four, you subdue it. Subdue it. That means you bring it under your control. Everything that's happening in your life, you are destined to bring it under control. Everything that was controlling you, you now control it. And then number five, you have dominion. That's God's original mandate. It's Bible truth. But through sin, in Genesis 3, and verse 17, and unto Adam he said, because you, thou hast hearkened unto the voice of thy wife and has eaten of the tree of which I commanded thee. I commanded you, man. 
thou shalt not eat of it. Cursed is the ground for thy sake. In sorrow thou shalt eat of it all the days of thy life. Thorns and thistles shall it bring forth to thee, and thou shalt eat of the herb of the field. And in the sweat of your face thou shalt eat bread, till thou return unto the ground, for out of it thou wast taken, for dust thou art, and unto dust thou shalt return. Ladies and gentlemen, as I draw this message to a close, Jesus Christ took our curse upon him, and they put a crown of thorns in his head. Those long thorns went into his brow, and the blood came gushing out as he became a curse that you should become a blessing. The word cursed means you're just a failure looking for somewhere to happen. The word blessing means you're empowered to be successful.